Judge, today's case is crazy about you. Good looking, young, and completely undone. Let's see if they can learn. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Molly Hightower and Zay Nelson. The two of you have been together for two and a half years. Uh, you two are struggling, and Mr. Hightower, you want her to pay you $200 for a car battery and alternator that he purchased for her vehicle. We will talk about that momentarily. But first, I want to talk about your relationship and acknowledge that's your best friend, Tyler Webb, here who's going to be testifying on your behalf. Thank you for coming, Mr. Webb. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Hightower. Why don't you tell me a little <coughs> bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Well, Your Honor, my girlfriend's clinginess and her over-emotional level is just kind of getting unbearable. We've been together for two and a half years now, and this has been a situation that we've been dealing with since day one. Um, I'm just getting tired of it, and I'm pretty sure she is too. Like, for an example, we like to get lunch when I'm on my lunch break for work sometimes right. and everything like that. And everything's fine. We'll go out, we'll have lunch and everything like that. But I only get an hour, Your Honor. So sometimes when I have to go back to lunch, I mean, when I have to go back to work, that's when the issue arises. So I'm like, hey, Zay, uh, it's time for me to go back to work. And she starts, oh, no, I don't want you to go. You have to stay, da 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 da, da. I'm like, no, I have to go back to work. And then that's when her whole anxiety and all of that stuff, and she starts getting unbearable and crying and doing all of this stuff while I'm just trying to go back to work. It's like anything that I tell her that she doesn't like or it doesn't work out for her, that's when she starts getting all clingy and Emotional, emotional and emotional crying. And, Everything is and, worth it. Worth yes, ma'am. And so look. When I'm like, okay, so we get into an argument and I'm going back to work, she doesn't leave. No, she goes sits in the parking garage for another three, four hours till I get off of work. And I'm just like, the average person will leave, but no, she wants to stay there. And then, so when I get off work, I'm ready to leave. Okay. So it's just, it gets unbearable. It's just it's, weird. It's, it's, yeah. it's annoying. And it's, it's <laughs> Ms. Nelson, why don't you tell me your version of that event? Do you recall what he's talking about? It I happens don't... often. That does not happen often. I've never sat there for another three to four hours in the parking garage. So you be we in the already parking? have our little habits where after we get done having our lunch, I go to the rooftop, take a nap on the Before that, that Zay, never, you have. You I would have, never do you, cry, do you, or I don't know what he's talking about. So you don't cry and get upset when he has to go back to work? Not, and it's always something, some situation that leads to that. It's well, never, well, tell me what, give me an example of a situation feel, that led to that. Me I, having to go back to work because she has separation anxiety. I don't have, she, why would I have separation anxiety with well, well, let, let her tell me. I just feel like he doesn't want me around sometimes. I feel unwanted. I feel like... I have to go back Give to me work. an example. That when is you not feel only unwanted. the situation. It's like, there was one time where I was hanging out with him. Yeah. We were, I was at his house for like a week. And he was like, oh, well, trying to lead on to me leaving. He was like, well, what you finna do? I was like, uh... You just I don't heard know. that she was at my house for a week, Your Honor. I mean, I had stuff oh to do. God. I don't Because wanna... I, what was I there for? She helped, me, there she helped for? me move. What was, I, what? what was I there for? You helped me move. No, I was helping him because his car broke down, so he needed oh, to use my car. That's so situation. it was already an understanding of why I was there. There, because exactly. you needed a ride and that's constant what he access does. to the car. He car. takes I... situations and makes it into something else. He don't know how to let things go in the past and move forward. That, that situation that I was talking about, he was like, I'm going out. Or he was like, I'm going to a birthday party. I was like, okay, well, who are you, whose birthday is it? Because I know all your friends, you know. Who, which friend is it? Oh, it's somebody from the group chat. You don't know her. I was like, since when are these group chat people your friend? Then he automatically be like, oh, well, here you go. You starting again, all this type stuff. He makes, like, situations worse than what they are. I'm just simply asking, asking you, a question. how are these people your friends? Like, who are these oh people? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say, Mr. Hightower? <laughs> She gave yeah, it to you herself. Dog. Even when she stays for a few days, a few weeks, all I have to do is say, I can just be like, hey, Zay, when you're going home? Then it's a whole, oh, you don't want me here, situation, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, all I'm asking you is when you're going to be here because you've been here for five days. Sometimes I have Why stuff to do. Why do you want to be around me? It's not, it's not even about it's, that. It's not even about that. What's it about? What's it about? Why, can't, why is it such an issue when I'm saying I'm by myself, I want some time for myself? I send you Monday, I send you Tuesday, send you Wednesday, send you Thursday, send you Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, Hey, Zay, what, what you finna do? You finna go home? She's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dang, bro, like, yeah, I can't no, even. No, but he asked me to come there. Don't ask I me. I asked you to come five days ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to 
want to be around you because I love you. I like to be around you. It's not me being overbearing or cleaning. Even when we're together, I don't feel like we're hanging out. He's always doing other things. And I asked him, I need your help moving. Right. Um, and I had to put my stuff in the storage. He comes over, we're all moving, all this type of stuff. He starts getting agitated because he has a birthday party to go to. Why would you plan to have a birthday party when you already said you was gonna help me move? But he starts being mean to me, all this type of stuff. I have texts that show like him being irrational and unreasonable. Well, let me see, let yeah. me see that. I got screenshots. So did you did you did you get fussy and angry when oh, when the move took too is, long? If I'm helping someone move and I'm the only per I'm first of all, I'm the only up, person. I was the only person. The person that she had helping her move wasn't doing nothing. You I knew was, that you were coming, so why would you okay, agree so, with it then? Why anyway, would you set so, plans when I asked you to so free listen, up your calendar? Listen, I didn't because, put it on your calendar. Because moving doesn't take, a, isn't a 10 hour job when you move in one bedroom and a downstairs. Upset. Because you're he's very, being unreasonable. No, it's not, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the truth. I'm saying what's going on. If, if you ask me to move, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna help you move. I don't, I don't expect moving to be a whole 10 hour job, me doing everything. Like I, yo, yo, I know, I understand that, but listen, me doing everything, no one else helping me, then when I have to, when I'm getting upset, like, okay, here. can we kind of speed this up? Cause I have stuff I to do. I got somewhere to go. Then, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's an issue with me. Well, you knew you had to help me move that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be doing this but for it's no not 10 minutes, I'm for no 10 planned. hours though. I'm doing all the work, you want me to do all of this, so when I'm getting upset, and then it's a whole problem. You that, didn't let me know you had something to do. I wasn't I told expecting you to it to be a whole Ms. Nelson, can I say this? What were you mad about? Let me tell you what I was actually <laughs> mad about. Stop. Why you two over there chrome signing Stop. each other. Let me tell you why. <laughs> what I was actually bad. mad about. Let me tell you what I was actually mad about. You gonna be all right? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's attacking me. I don't like that. Nobody's that's attacking you. He's that telling his story. Because, no, that's stuff that happened in the past. Me staying there, that's stuff we had already went through that we discussed. And you're still and upset he's, about it. No, he's bringing it up on. like it's not even... When has it happened? Recently. You're a liar. Tell me what <laughs> happened when it happened recently. I'm a musician. I tend to have shows throughout the month. I tend to have performances and things like that. And one time I had a perform. Well, when I have performances, I like to invite everybody. I invite friends from social media here, all that, and all that thing. She thinks she knows everybody in my life, but she doesn't. So when I'm inviting friends and all these people out, she gets upset. So I had one of my friends from social media, which was a woman. She came to a show that I had, and Tyler was there. He was at the show with me and everything. Now, since so we're talking about Mr. Webb, come on up, join your join your partner. I will keep keep going. Okay. He's just walking. Well, yeah. Like so, I said um, I was having a show, and we all having a good time. As soon as she sees a female. Now, oh, hey, Molly, I'm here for your show and all that. Attitude, her whole emotions changed. She started looking like that. Everything changed. <laughs> I'm telling you, we were laughing just like that. Then that what happens right there. I'm not like them. I'm not an extroverted person. I like to just chill, and I know them, so I'm comfortable with them. You have to let me know if other people are coming, so I know that I have to engage with these people. I'm just, I've already been drinking. I've already was been chilling. Was it a show? Yes, yes a show. show. But he was, then we were sitting in intimate. <laughs> We you know, were sitting in in I can't be around people. Stop, You're around stop, a performance. Stop, stop. We were sitting in an intimate setting. I didn't know other people were being invited. When he performs and other people come, it's not a problem. I'm talking when about the intimate. Invited to your table exactly. is what you're saying. When someone just walks up, I don't care if it's male, female, whomever. I have to put my energy, okay, I gotta entertain somebody else. I'm comfortable with them. I know I don't have to do that. We could just sit and chill. I'm with you. I got, I got you. Mr. Webb, what do you see when you see them interact in, 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 in an agitated manner. What's happening? I mean, it's a very toxic situation, I will be honest. Um, Is it constant? Yes. For instance, we, we threw a, a birthday party for one of our friends at the house, and just fast forwarding throughout the night, Soda's on the couch, sleep, uh, and his female cousin comes up to him. He wasn't even like, down there. She comes up to him and asks, like, hey, Soda, like, let's go get a drink, let's go party, like, you know, so on and so forth. And you can see Zay's face just kind of, like, you know, get real shut down. My cousin, Every, mind you. Everybody around it sees, because people start asking, like, yo, like, Molly, like, what's up with your girl? Like, she good? And, like, Zay Nobody storms off. That. And, you know, another time... They say I didn't even storm off. What? I was still sitting there. He wasn't even there. Okay, let me so he wasn't even, he wasn't even down, 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 down there. there. Let me explain right to you. What were you mad about? Let me tell you what I was actually on. mad about. Stop. Why you two over there close signing Stop. each other. Let me tell you why. What I was actually mad about. Let me tell you what I was actually mad about. I 
I had asked Molly, hey, take a drink with me, take a shot with me. Molly declined, very like vehemently, like he doesn't want to do it. Soon as somebody else comes and asks you to do it, oh well, okay. But did I do it? Did I do it? I did her too. So you're not talking about that. Speak the facts. No, I didn't. Because the first thing the girl came up to me, which is my cousin, she's like, hey, come do, take a drink with me. I'm on the couch, I'm like, nah, bro, I'm chilling right now. She's like, come take a shot, come on, get up, come party. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Here, she goes to having this attitude. So my cousin, like, like, what's, what's up with her? What's any her? of that. What? I still don't understand what you're saying. That's not even my about. problem. He, well, you tell me what the problem what is. The problem is a female. I ask any you female to, that no, comes into my I life, ask girl, you to do something and you don't do you. it with me. And you I don't do it with anybody else. You see how she getting into the judge? You see, I can't even talk. It ain't, she, 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 she's in her way. She's in her way. She's in her way. That's what I'm talking about. All right, about. then. I'll be in my mom. Look, I'm telling you, I'll I had a performance, and we had a good time. As soon as a female lying. comes, she storms You're outside, lying. has a temper tantrum outside we of the store. Oh, why do you want to invite a female? Oh, you should have put your stuff in her first. All of this, outside, judge. Outside. So he goes like, he goes, listen. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop there. Stop. Stop. I know what you're thinking. I can see it all over your face. I don't get it. I don't understand. This old lady's talking to me, and she doesn't get where, where I'm you coming get it to from. To a certain extent. If you would like your case to be heard on divorce court, call us toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. If either one of you is trying to convince me that you're rational, you've both failed. <laughs> no, we're both of you. Both of you, <laughs> both of you <laughs> failed miserably. What are you still upset about? Before we were living together, we used to, he used to come over to my house and hang out all the time. And one time we was laying in my bed and I saw a photo, he was on his phone, there was a photo of him and this girl and they were in her bathroom and they didn't have a lot of clothes on. So I asked him about it and he was like, oh, that's just my home girl or something like that. But I didn't want to cause a situation because we were hanging out, you know, I had bought us pizza, we were chilling, all that type of stuff. So fast forward a couple months, he had asked me to move in and he had a MacBook, and there was something wrong with it. And he asked me to look at it while he was out. So I saw that there was messages with that particular girl with him saying, oh, I used to be anti-relationships, but I'm not anti-relationships no more, and I, I really feel things with you. And then, like, she was asking him what she was doing and all that type of stuff, and he had sent her pictures of times he was with me when he was in my bed with my pizza, all this type of stuff. And it was basically like him begging and pleading with her because later on in the messages, she stopped replying. M yeah. Mr. Hightower, can you tell me your version of that event? Yes, ma'am, I can. Please. Mind you, she told you I have a MacBook, right? Right. And she told you when she saw these pictures of these messages, it was months before we moved in with each other, right? Right. And months together. before we, no, way before we together, these messages she saw and all this stuff, this is before we are together. It was So not. She, she goes to my MacBook when she gets it. Old messages just don't randomly pop up. You have to search for old messages from months ago. I did not search for those. You have to go search for old it, messages. If, this, if these messages happen when we're way before we're together, no, then we move not. in and stuff, and these messages just pop up randomly if while you're on the computer. If they happened before we were like, together, oh, then why were you sending her pictures when ago, we were together? How you gonna let that her talk? That doesn't make sense. Talk. So she, she went snooping she, and went foul. She, she went and, contends so. that you were sending her pictures of the two of you together, so, so that had to be current. How do you respond to that? The pictures that she was when she was getting sent was a pizza box. Then no, it was it was him in my bed. I know my bed and. The pizza I bought in, in, in my box. Do you know? In my box. What do you know? Was the girl worked at Little Caesars. He's uh, lying. I took a picture of the pizza box and was just like, oh, look, some Little Caesars. <laughs> but how do they randomly pop up five months later? They don't. Well, that means you go not. snooping for it. No. You go looking for stuff. It pops up. Stuff. I so do not do at, for that. Do you look at old messages? No, I got to do that. I don't look for stuff. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna talk to you both. <laughs> First of all, you're far too excited about dude over here. Far too excited. 
you talk about the things that he does and the attention that he doesn't pay and the random people that he's around as if it's a threat to your very existence. I would get hysterical and say, I've, 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 I've had my voice like that before, but people were either in the hospital, somebody was dying, I was scared because I couldn't find my son, he was missing for a couple of days. I've been like that, but I've been like that for the right reasons. You show a level of exitation about very small things that shows cataclysmic. I want you to be more centered in yourself. He's 23. 23 year olds, God bless you, <laughs> are some silly people, especially 23 year old males. I know you don't believe me, but I saw you. It's Nick saw you. You're lying. Doesn't matter. You can lie about me. I won't get excited. You can say, it. you know that Judge Lynn Tola? She does A, B, C, and D. And it could all be wrong, but I would not get like you because you can't hurt me with your lies. Can't do it. You can only fix you, you can't fix him. And if you want to be comfortable and sane, you got to be in a position where what he does doesn't bother you one way or the other. And if he's so terrible that you don't need to be with him, kick him, kick, kick him to the curb. I'm trying to hand you power. You know, I think, I, I know what you're thinking. I can see it all over your face. I don't get it. I don't understand. This old lady's talking to me and she doesn't get where, where I'm coming from. I think you get it from. to a certain extent. Oh, I get yeah. it all. Been out of here 60 because years. I don't, yeah. it's not how it was before. And I know it's yeah. better. He told me a long story. But the, what I'm responding to you was your conduct in here. Today. I just felt five like minutes ago. Again. I understand. Mm. But you see, I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is it upsets you too much. I don't like people lying on me. Oh, nobody does. Period. But, but you can't let it own you. That's true. That's, that's what people, that's what's wrong with everybody today. Running around shooting and killing people because they don't, lost their job, they got to go kill people. That people running around all excited, you know, text messaging you, you thunkhead from, from politicians. Everybody's behaving like they're too. And everybody's talking, yeah, well, he did this and he did that and who cares? You're in charge of how you feel. You're in charge of how you respond. And until you're in charge of that, the whole world will be conducting your business for you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't mad. I'm just passionate. Mr. Hightower, I'm gonna say the same thing to you. You got to be calm and relaxed. We got a whole society full of young people just hysterical running around. Can't have it. Won't work. Won't be anything. You know what I'm saying? You with me? Yes, ma'am. You understand what I'm telling you? Yes, ma'am. You understand what I'm telling you, Mr. Webb? He's cool over there. He ain't got no problems. <laughs> That's what you think. Yeah. I wish you the best, Ms. Nelson and Mr. Mr. Hightower. I really, really do. But until you own your own home, your own emotional home, you can't make a home with anybody else. This I know for a fact. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. <laughs>